it's a Wednesday hump day. I have sensitive skin. I did not know that I had sensitive skin at first. I thought that my skin was just oily and acne prone because I was always breaking out. I do have sensitive skin on my body, which for some reason I did not correlate with my face. I get eczema from time to time and um, something just you know made me think maybe the skin on my face is actually really, really sensitive and maybe some of the products that I'm using are a little bit too harsh for me and that's what's causing me to break out. So I kind of went on a little hunt on YouTube and I came across a video by Estee where she was talking about the Pi skincare line and I decided, you know what, why not? I'll try it out. I've seen it on Amazon. I've also seen it on their own website. You can get it from little specialty stores, mostly health food stores. I went to Every, everyone or everyone, however you pronounce it. But it's a health food store in Los Angeles and they carry the range. I've gone there to purchase my products. I haven't gotten them online yet, but I'm not opposed to it. Their website is actually really uh, simple and, and you know, I, I wouldn't be opposed to ordering it from there either. But I really love the cleanser. It's super du duper gentle. It's made out of um, camellia and rose and uh, it's a cream based cleanser, but it's a cleansing balm. So it does have um, a little bit of a oil base to it and you use it just like you would use a cleansing balm like a Liz Earl or an Eve Loam, which I haven't tried the Liz Earl, but I did the Eve Loam for a little bit and it, it's also great, but it's very pricey. And um, this one is a lot less expensive than that one. And I feel like I like the results of the pie better. You rub it onto your hands and you put it on a dry face. You rub it around gently and then you use the muslin cloth to get it off. What I do is I prefer the muslin side. It also has a terry cloth side which is a little bit more gentler but both sides are gentle nonetheless and you put it in really hot water and I press it onto my face to kind of like break up whatever oil or dirt is on my face and then I do that three times. After the third time I wipe away everything off of my face and then to finish it off, I will run the cloth under really cold water and then press that onto my face and I'm done. For the moisturizer and the oil, I use both of them kind of like as a dynamic duo. I will put a little bit of the moisturizer in my hand and I will drop a few drops of the bioregenerate oil. And I will rub that together and press that onto my face and I'm good to go. Right now I am using the Cetaphil SPF 50 because it is spring and eventually it will be summertime. I do suffer from hyperpigmentation. I don't want that to get worse so I bumped up my SPF. I was using a 15 during the winter and then during the, the hotter months um, in California here I usually step up to a 50 or sometimes higher depending on what uh, I'm doing that day. And during the nighttime my routine is pretty much exactly the same except I switch the Cetaphil out for the Alafia Everyday Coconut Facial Lotion, which does have SPF 15 and it's what I used in the winter time, but it's also a great anytime moisturizer. For the hyperpigmentation, I really love the Bioregenerate Oil because it is a natural form of vitamin A, which vitamin A is the same thing that retinol uses to diminish hyperpigmentation and acne scars and even acne. But this form is a much gentler form, very natural, organic form of the vitamin A, so it's very safe to use. I am nursing still, so I prefer this because the, the hydroquinine, the retinol, those are great products for getting a fast response with enlightening your, your hyperpigmentation, but you can't use them for very long because they're not really all of that safe of a product. It's kind of something that you want to use anywhere from four to maybe eight weeks because you shouldn't be using a product like that for that long because it's not safe for pregnant or nursing women. I turned to more of the organic natural skincare products. Pi captured my heart and I'm falling in love with them and I use three different products from them. I use their cleanser, I use the bioregenerate oil, and I also use the mask. That is my skincare routine, you guys. This is for sensitive skin but you can also use all of the products that I mentioned today on all skin types. It's safe for all skin types, you guys. I just find that they have really, really been working for me. I would try to find a clip of what my skin was looking like before when I was doing Vlogmas, I think it was. Yeah, my skin was just completely broken out. It was like crazy. And um, since I've stopped using those products, which was heavy with glycolic acid, and lactic acid. My skin has completely did a just complete turnaround. And as you can see, like I still have some scarring going on, but as far as like 
pimples, active pimples on my face. I don't really have that many. I have like a little issue right here, which I think was either from the eye drops that I use or something that I was putting on. I use this serum on my eyebrows sometimes because I'm trying to, I'm still trying to grow them completely out. So yeah. That's about it guys. You know I'm going to link the products below for you guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Have a great day guys. Anyways, bye. Enjoy life.